Welcome to part two of the no so weighted blanket. Um, right now I'm going to take the inside piece that we just finished and I'm going to make a blanket, a fabric no so blanket for this to slide into uh, so that it's not plasticky and cold and hard up against the kiddo's skin. If you don't know how to make um, a no so fleece blanket, they're the two later kind, we're going to trim them and um, tie knots anyway. If you don't know how to make those, again, Google is your friend, but I'm finding that I need to leave my weighted insert on top of the fabric so that I don't cut and um, tie too short for this to slide in between the layers when I'm done. Okay, so I've tied up three sides of the um, no sew blanket, and there's three sides, and then I have trimmed or prepared the knots for the fourth side, but now we're going to slide the weighted part of the blanket in between these two layers to make it a cover. And how this should work is that um, later, if you want to wash the blanket, you can untie this last row there, slide out the weighted core section, and throw this part, the tie blanket, into the washing machine. Um, you do not want to wash the weighted tape section. Obviously, tape and rice in the water would not be a good idea, but if it does get soiled, you can wipe it down with you know, baby wipes or whatever you feel like wiping that part down with. So now I'm going to slide this weighted section in between the two layers of my weighted blanket. And here it is, the completed no-sew weighted blanket. Um, so far, uh, I like how it looks. Um, I like that if you, you know, if the kiddo decides they don't want a weighted blanket, you can untie one of the sides, take out the weighted section, retie it, and you have a perfectly good, nice looking um, blanket that you can use, even without any weight. Um, I like that I didn't have to use my sewing machine and it was quick. Uh, it probably took four hours total to go from the beginning to the end. It was also inexpensive. Um, I paid about ten dollars for the tape, the baggies, and the rice, and probably 20 for the fabric. But again, the fabric, you know, can be used uh, even if the weighted section doesn't stay in there. So $30 for a weighted blanket plus a little bit of time, I think, is a great first step to see if the kiddo even likes a weighted blanket. Um, and if he doesn't, you're really not out anything because you still have a blanket that you can use. Um, I like that you could take out the inside and make it heavier as the kid gets heavier so you don't have to start over completely from scratch. What I am not liking right now is the sound. I'm not sure how that's going to work um, while my kiddo is asleep. If he rolls over and it makes noise it may wake him up. Um, I'm also not sure if it's going to stay in place, if the weighted section will stay in place. I may eventually go back and uh, put a hole through the weighted part and through here and add another little tie around each corner to make sure that the weighted section stays in place. Um, if it is too loud, another if I made another one, I may add some, I don't know, cotton balls or some sort of quilted, some batting for a quilt into each of the baggies because that may absorb some of the sound or if I'm going to go to that I might as well just get the polyfill that they use in the real weighted blankets. Um, so yeah I will I'm going to let my kiddo try this out tomorrow and um, for a little while and then if I have any making any changes I'll come back and make an update video. Thank you for watching and go Packers!